Hi there, my name's Frankie and I'm a sexual health doctor. Hi there, my name's Sam and I'm one of the doctors here at 56 Dean Street. In this video, we're gonna be talking about some ways to reduce your risk of catching sexually transmitted infections and HIV. There's lots of ways that you can do that and we're gonna talk through a few of them. It's an important thing to think about and find out which method might best suit your sex life and your lifestyle. So one of the oldest and most effective ways of protecting yourself from sexually transmitted infections and HIV um, are condoms. Now, condoms get a really bad rap, but are a really effective way of protecting yourself. If you think that condoms are for you, then it's important to have a good supply at home and you can get a free supply from most sexual health clinics or online. It's also worth carrying a few in your wallet on a night out, just in case you hook up, and also knowing how to put on a condom properly, and we will be doing a demonstration at the end of this video. Another way of protecting yourself if you're having unprotected sex is PrEP. PrEP is actually standing for pre-exposure prophylaxis and it's in fact a tablet which we use to treat HIV but in this context is to prevent your risk of getting HIV. PrEP doesn't protect you from any other kinds of sexual infections including chlamydia, gonorrhea or syphilis but is a really really effective way of massively reducing your risk of getting HIV. It can be taken every day or it can be taken just at times when you're having unprotected sex and so it's quite a flexible way um, of protecting yourself. Sam's actually done a wonderful video um, giving a few more details about PrEP so go and check that out after this. And then there's also post exposure prophylaxis or PEP. Now this is a combination of two tablets that are taken over 28 days and it's taken after you think you might have been at risk of contracting HIV. Now it has to be taken within 72 hours and the longer you leave it, the less effective it is. So if you think that you've been at risk of HIV, please call us as soon as possible and we'll talk to you about whether or not PEP is indicated. And if we're closed, then A&E departments can start a PEP course. There are also some changes that could be made in your social life to reduce your risk of getting HIV and other sexually transmitted diseases. We're gonna talk about a few of those now. So as you all know, a really common way of hooking up are apps such as Grindr or Scruff. And it's important to realise that the profile that you put on there is a profile that you're putting out to other guys. So for example, if you're somebody that likes to use condoms during sex, it might be a good idea to put on your profile that you like to use condoms or engage in safe sex. This helps to filter out guys that might want to have bareback sex or have sex that you're not comfortable with. It's also important to recognise that on lots of profiles out there, people may say that they're on PrEP or that they know their HIV status. And in most cases that will be true. However, it's important to not put your health into other people's hands. So if you know that you're using condoms or taking your PrEP properly, you know that you're doing the best job to protect your own health. Many of us have made less than ideal decisions after a few drinks. Alcohol and drugs can reduce your inhibitions and this may lead to riskier sex. It's important to think about these things before you're in that situation. For example, if you're someone who uses condoms, making sure you've got a few on you instead of relying on the other person to have them. And if you're someone who uses PrEP, making sure that you've taken your PrEP before a night out where you may hook up. On a wider scale, there's lots of things we can all do to reduce the transmission of sexually transmitted infections and HIV. This includes testing regularly, knowing our HIV status, and not being afraid to have an open discussion with our sexual partners about our status. It's important to reduce the taboo in having these conversations so that you can comfortably have the sex that you want whilst being safe. So then guys, as promised, we're now gonna show you how to safely put on a condom. Now, first things first, you want to look at the packet of the condom just to make sure there's no splits or holes in it. Um, and then you want to check the sell by date just to make sure it's good to use. Now, if that's all good, it's time to open it. Now, when opening a condom, it's important to use your hands and not your teeth. If you use your teeth, you increase the chance of damaging the condom and then you, then you may as well not be using it. So, open the condom carefully like so and carefully remove the condom and get rid of the packet there. Now, this is what it's gonna look like, okay? It's gonna have a little bobble on there, okay? Time to party. Pop it on the top of the penis like so and squeeze that little bobble and that's gonna get rid of the air bubble. If you leave that air bubble there, there's a chance the con higher chance that the condom might break. Pop it on top of the penis and then just roll it down the shaft. And there you have it, you're good to go. Now when removing the condom, just take it off, pop it in a tissue and throw it in the bin. It's important not to flush it down the toilet. So in this video, we've spoken about just a few ways that you can reduce your risk. If you're still a little bit confused or want some more information, give us a call.